In this tutorial, we'll explore Snagit's editor and show you how to edit and enhance images with tools and effects. Let's get started. This is the Snagit editor. Down here is the tray. It contains your recent captures. If you don't see the tray, click Show Recent to toggle it open and closed. Selected media displays on the canvas. Above the canvas is the toolbar. These are just the default tools, but there are a lot more here in the dropdown. Click here to add or remove options from the toolbar. Let's use the step tool to mark up this image displayed in the canvas. The step tool allows you to identify parts of an image by placing ordered callouts as you point and click. Nice. Callouts allow you to point something out and add contextual information. Over here is the quick style pane with some styled callouts. Select a callout, then click and drag to draw it on your image. Type in your text and set the tail where you want it. In the tool properties, you can customize the look and feel of your annotations like your arrows, text, callouts, and shapes. With your callout selected, let's open the Fill Color menu and change the color. Select colors from the presets, enter the color code, or use the color picker to select a color from anywhere on your computer screen. Perfect, now the callout matches that color. The Effects tab contains image enhancing options like borders, the torn edge effect, and more. For this image, I'll choose the border effect, set it to gray, and set the width to one pixel. Let's move to another image. There are a couple things here that need to be removed. Snagit makes this incredibly easy with the selection tool. Before making a selection, switch the background fill from transparent to auto fill. Then select a section of the image to remove and press delete. The selection disappears, but instead of blank space, it's filled in with the same color as the surrounding area, as though the deleted content was never there. This tool is quite powerful and can be used to clear text from text boxes or seamlessly move elements in an image. The last thing I want to do here is place this profile icon in the tray on this image. To combine two or more images, just drag them from the tray to the canvas. When you are finished editing your image, click the Share button to see the many options and destinations available. Now that you're familiar with the working space, tools, and effects in the editor, try out some of the other tools like Text, Shape, and Magnify on your own. If you need additional help, Please check out our other tutorials or online help articles. Thanks.